When a narcissist's tactics of manipulation fail and their hold over a loved one begins to slip, they may resort to their most dangerous trick, the smear campaign. This is a tactic used by a narcissist to tarnish their target's reputation by spreading false rumors and lies. The aim is to create mistrust in the minds of their target's loved ones, making it challenging for them to receive support and leave a toxic relationship. The narcissist may begin by planting seeds of doubt in the minds of their target's closest friends and family members. They may fabricate stories about their target, portraying them as unstable, unreliable, or even mentally ill. They may also amplify their target's mistakes, making them appear much more severe than they genuinely are. Over time, these falsehoods can spread throughout the target's social circle, causing serious harm to their reputation. This can be an incredibly isolating and traumatic experience for the target, who may feel as though they have no one to turn to. Pathological narcissists always exhibit specific consistent traits that differentiate them from normal individuals. Given their vengeful nature, they have a valid reason to fear what would happen if their secret was revealed to the general public. The narcissist's behavior is often a complete mystery to those around them. If you have had even a brief interaction with a narcissist or come from a narcissistic family, you can imagine how they would respond if they felt they had lost control over you. As a result of a narcissist's constant need for information from others, they lack a foundation on which to build their comprehension of the world because they do not know who they are. They resort to shaming, threatening, and bullying others to meet their demands. Narcissists have an unrealistic desire for attention and affirmation, leading to feelings of envy and shame. Interestingly, they often act rudely to mask these emotions. Unfortunately, their toxic personalities leave them alone. When they lose control over someone, they have limited options. They may try to make amends without considering the harm they've done. They regret the situation, particularly the loss of a crucial supply source. Being abandoned makes them feel terrible and they're ashamed their secrets out. They might even blame their illness or addiction, explaining their conduct before apologizing. However, most narcissists are unrepentant and revert to their unpleasant behavior soon after apologizing, even high-functioning ones. Some may feign reasonableness by using the grey rock technique or implementing a no-contact policy. First, narcissists cannot express regret for past mistakes and promise eternal love. That will text or email you something that reads, I don't know what I did to hurt you, but I'll always love you. But you may also hear veiled threats, such as you can count on me to tell everyone the truth about you, and I care for you more than I want you to know. If you receive a message like this or someone apologizes and begs for another chance with tears, take a moment to think about your history with them before making any hasty decisions. There's a limit to how many times you can hear, I'm sorry. Even if the apologies aren't many, consider how often they've occurred or how much tension eased off after previous apologies. Narcissists rarely change their ways, so it's reasonable to expect a similar outcome if the same actions are taken again. Secondly, narcissists often refuse to apologize for their actions. They are unable or unwilling to admit to their mistakes, limitations and faults, and therefore cannot confess to any harmful behavior towards you or others. Most of the accusations they make against you are unfounded, and they twist or misrepresent your words and actions to make you appear bad. Narcissists also fabricate stories to mislead others about your intentions and character. If you were in a long-term relationship with a narcissist, they may have been skilled at manipulating and gaslighting you, causing you to doubt your sanity and question the trust others place in the narcissist. Covert narcissists may appear humble and contrite to outsiders, while conducting a secret campaign against you. Finally, the narcissist may contact people you know outside of your relationship to show false concern for them. Narcissists need complete control over their immediate environment. They may let your friends and family know they are worried about them or share a common interest to establish a connection. Once the narcissist has gained their trust, they will send cards, make phone calls, and invite them to social gatherings. Narcissists want to prove their worthiness and gain respect from others. They also use this tactic to recruit allies, known as flying monkeys, who will act as spies and report back on your activities. 
These allies help the narcissist to monitor you and gather information, which they can use to intimidate or control you. This is how narcissists manage their own and others' reactions to difficult situations. Narcissism is damaging because it attacks the victim's psychological well-being before resorting to physical harm if necessary. Fourthly, narcissists frequently employ projection techniques on their victims as things deteriorate. They often resort to emotional manipulation, forcing their victims to take responsibility for their negative actions. If a narcissist experiences the loss of a loved one or close friend, they may use their grief to gain attention. This is quite audacious. They will employ any tactics, including deception and manipulation, to elicit sympathy from others to further their own interests. They will not stop pleading, crying, complaining, becoming angry and so on, until the victim apologizes. When describing such a scenario, people often say they cried and begged on their knees. Fifthly, narcissists become resentful and vindictive towards others. They always make it seem as though the issue is with the victim. In response, the narcissist may say, you have no right to try and guess my thoughts. There's nothing you can do to change the fact that you've decided you can no longer tolerate my behavior. It is important to remember that narcissists blame their victims for everything that happens to them. Unfortunately, some individuals cannot resist acting in destructive, more aggressive ways. They may spread unfavorable rumors about you. If it serves their purposes, they may withhold important information, assets, and resources. They will not hesitate to do whatever they think is necessary to regain power over their prey. Instructing their victims to lead by example is a common phrase they use to justify such behavior. Sixth, when the narcissist's lies, power, or fear no longer work, they may attempt to establish a trauma bond. Narcissists have a tendency to rationalize their abusive conduct, which can deceive their victims into accepting it. Emotional abuse victims may seem to be completely reliant on their abuser's approval, whether it's financial or emotional. For example, if a couple decides to raise their children together, they are more likely to spend a lot of time with each other, regardless of how unhealthy their relationship may be. Perhaps they have developed an unhealthy level of dependency on their abuser and will never be able to leave. It's also possible that there's a physical explanation, such as an underlying health issue. If you and the narcissist don't already have a trauma bond, the narcissist will attempt to create one by bringing up dramatic situations that you've both experienced. If they succeed, they will do everything they can to strengthen it so that you can't break free or take action on your own. It's important to recognize that this is a common tactic used by narcissists and that it reveals more about them than it does about you. Remember that you are not alone and that there are individuals who will believe in and support you. Try to limit your interaction with a narcissist as much as possible. This can be challenging if you have a close relationship with them, but attempt to establish boundaries and adhere to them. Refrain from sharing personal information with them and avoid engaging in arguments or debates that could provide them with ammunition for their smear campaign. Overall, when a narcissist feels that they are losing their influence over someone, they may display specific behaviors and attitudes. Nonetheless, there is much more to it than that. Please leave a comment below if you want to contribute to the discussion on this subject. Additionally, if you enjoy this video and don't want to miss any of my future uploads, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon. I would sincerely appreciate it. So everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today we just learned about one of the most dangerous tricks that narcissists use when their tactics of manipulation fail. It's called the smear campaign and you won't believe the lengths that go to use it. When a narcissist is no longer in control of their loved one, they may resort to spreading false rumors and lies to tarnish their target's reputation. This can be an incredibly isolating and traumatic experience for the target who may feel as though they have no one to turn to. So how do they do it? Well, first the narcissist might plant seeds of doubt in the minds of their target's closest friends and family members by fabricating stories about their target. They may also amplify their target's mistakes, making them appear much more severe than they genuinely are. Over time, these falsehoods can spread throughout the target's social circle, causing serious harm to their reputation. 
But why do narcissists resort to such extra measures? Well, it all boils down to their constant need for attention and affirmation. They fear losing control of their prey and the thought of being abandoned makes them feel terrible. So what are some warning signs that a narcissist is about to use the smear campaign on you? First, they may try to make amends without considering the harm they have done in the past. They may apologize and even go as far as begging for another chance. But most narcissists are unrepentant and refer to their unpleasant behavior soon after. Secondly, they often refuse to take responsibility for their actions and instead project their negative traits onto their victim. Thirdly, they may contact people you know outside of your relationship to show false, con to show false concern for them and gain allies who will act as spies and report back on your activities. Fourthly, they become resentful and vindictive towards others and spread unfavorable rumors about you. And finally, when all else fails, they may attempt to establish a trauma bond to prevent you from leaving. So how can you protect yourself from a smear campaign? Well, first and foremost, try to limit your interaction with the narcissist as much as possible. Refrain from sharing personal information with them and avoid engaging in arguments or debates. Establish boundaries and adhere to them. Remember that you are not alone and that there are individuals who will believe in and support you. And most importantly, trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. So what do you think? Have you ever experienced a smear campaign from a narcissist? Share your experience in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon to stay updated on all my future uploads. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.